Hi everyone, welcome to the new digs. Now last video I made the point to let everybody know that 99% of the items that I've shown on my channel that I purchased myself, um, somebody must have been listening because uh, Opus, I think that's how you pronounce it, was generous enough to actually send me this to give a, a, an honest review. And don't worry, I have a full-time job that I love. YouTube is a hobby for me, so I'm not beholden to anybody. I'm gonna give you my honest opinions, good, bad, and ugly. So. Um, what they did send me was uh, the Opus 1200. Now it's 992 watt hours battery capacity. Uh, it's named the 1200 because the inverter is capable of 1200 continuous watts output and 3600 watts peak. Um, but they did send me the entire kit. They sent me the power station and also two 100 watt foldable portable solar panels. So I checked the website, they do sell them separately. Uh, they sell the power station as a individual unit and then they sell the package. So what I'm gonna do today is show you the features of the unit. And then uh, I'm going to spend a day using only this uh, to simulate a day long power outage. Um, and we'll see if we can make our meals, uh, provide some entertainment, maybe get some work done around the house. Uh, we're gonna see how this thing holds up. So real quickly, before we get into that, please like, subscribe to my channel if you like my content, and most importantly, as I always say, share the video if somebody that you know or love could benefit from the information that I provide. Now let's get techie. Okay, so what comes in the box? Obviously the power station. You get a basic user manual, and they provide you with two means to charge the unit. One is a 200 watt power brick, plugs into the AC of your house, and into the unit's front to charge at up to 200 watts. And then they also give you a DC uh, car accessory port or lighter uh, charger um, to allow you to charge it as well. And if you buy the kit, it comes with two 100 watt foldable panels. Now these are very nice, typical foldable solar panel, nice hefty handle on it. There's a pouch on the back to hold your power lead. So you could charge the unit with one of these, plugging directly in, or each panel comes with a splitter combiner. So you take one lead from a panel, a lead from the other panel, you plug those in, and then you have the single lead that feeds into the front of the power station. Pretty nice little touch there. So let's get this out of the way first. All of the power stations these days come with a light, right? So this is your typical low, high, and then your SOS flash. Okay, now that everybody's been blown away by the light feature, um, we'll get to the front. What's on the front? We have a 12 volt accessory port, you know, your car accessory port, and then we have underneath that two DC output jacks. Now combined between the accessory port and these, uh, it will support 12 volts at 10 amps, so 120 watts. And then below that we have USB-C PD. We have two ports. The one near the exterior of the unit is 18 watts. The one near the interior of the unit is 60 watts output. Now I say output and I stress that because these are not bi-directional. You cannot charge this power station via PD. These are strictly output only. Underneath that we have two USB-A's and these are uh, QC 3.0, so they're quick charge, three amps. And then, let's see, let me find it. We have our power switch. You press and hold for five seconds, and then it pops on. The LCD display is crisp, it's sharp, it's clear. Um, it gives you basically everything that you need, all the basics, and then maybe a little bit extra that you know I don't really need, but nice to have. Um, it gives you the input and output wattage, um, it does have pass-through charging, so it can tell you how much you have going into the unit and how much you have flowing out. It's nice to keep up with those values if you're using it for pass-through charging to know where you stand with your battery capacity. Uh, it also has uh, the capacity remaining, um, fault indicators, uh, your, your AC on, your DC on, etc. So it's a nice uh, display and it gives you all the information that you would need. Now below that, you have your main DC input uh, charging jack. And that's capable of 12 to 30 volts 
and up to 200 watts. Then on this side of the unit, we have our typical uh, 120 volt um, AC outlets. We have three of them, and the good thing about this is they each have the ground plug. Um, it's nice to have three distinct grounded outlets. Um, and like I said earlier, these are capable of a combined 1200 watts continuous or 3600 watts peak. So now that I've shown you all the features of the Opus 1200 power station and the associated solar panels, I am going to simulate a day without power. I'm going to put this thing through its paces. I'm going to do a little yard work. I'm going to feed myself. I'm going to entertain myself, etc. With one caveat, I live in the South and it is hot. So I am not going to turn off my central AC. I'm foolish, but I'm not stupid. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because I have other backup systems to run my AC. So I would actually not be using this for that. But we'll see what we can get done with it and uh, see if it will give us some creature comforts and make it a, a halfway pleasant day. Hey, it's time to get up, man. Power went out last night. Me and you got some work to do today, bud. It's nice to know you're well rested and uh, I'm gonna keep you busy today. So I apologize for the poor lighting, but I am simulating a power outage at my house and I'm going to be cooking, etc., out in my garage uh, for the most part. So, um, what I'm going to do is start up the Opus power station. Uh, it's about eight o'clock in the morning right now, and breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so we're gonna go ahead and get that started. First thing we're gonna do is hook in a, oh, we need to turn on our AC. And we're going to get some light. I have a little LED light above my workbench, so that should provide us enough light to uh, make this video and make some breakfast um, and what I have here is a dash uh, mini egg cooker so what I'm going to do is cook six hard-boiled eggs and off we go this is actually a um, under 300 watt unit you can see right now we're at 99% about 8 o'clock and it's this is pulling about 283 watts between this and the little LED light um, they're done so wow that goes on and on forever so let's enjoy our breakfast and then get out to work Now it's about 9.30 and what I'm going to be doing out here uh, this morning is simulating uh, you know, some branches down or some trees down in the yard. Uh, in that case I would use a pole saw or a electric chainsaw, but since I don't have that issue today I'm going to be simulating that with a uh, hedge trimmer and charging up a weed eater uh, battery, 24 volt, because that's what I need to do today. So you could use this power station for a bunch of different scenarios outdoors. So as you can see, I have the two solar panels set up. There's all my yard equipment I'm going to be using. And here is the Opus uh, power station. I have it in the shade, uh, of course, to keep the temperature down. I have my 24 volt battery there. It's about a quarter charge, so I need to charge it up before I use it. So um, I have both of the solar panels coming in via the splitter. So let's go ahead and plug them in. Let's see what we're getting at about 9.30 in the morning for input. You can see we're 87%. Okay, so we're getting, it's climbing, climbing, climbing. Okay, about 120 watts. Not bad for, you know, before 10 o'clock in the morning. So let's go ahead and plug in now. Our AC is on, so we're gonna start charging the battery for the weed eater. Okay, it looks like it topped out at about 36 watts to charge that battery up. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our hedge trimmer to see what we're gonna get. So you see we're going to be using a little over 300 the whole time that I'm doing that between charging the battery and using the hedge trimmer. But we have 130 going in. So it's going to take me about a half hour to do this work and we'll see where we end up. So it's about 1030 now. Uh, I finished all the trimming. Um, filled up my 24 volt weed eater battery uh, while I was trimming the hedges. And we had the solar panel plugged in the whole time. So we did have a net loss, obviously, because we were pulling more energy than we were putting in with the panels. You can see we lost another 12% of capacity with the battery. So what I'm going to do now is go in and prepare for lunch, and I'm going to leave the power station out here, and I'm going to plug the solar panels back in. So um, I just brought it back in. It was outside for about a half hour. We got a few percentage points back on our capacity. We have some 
chicken noodle soup in a crock pot. And we have uh, about four cups of cooked rice, you know, when it's finished in the rice cooker. So we're gonna go ahead and plug these in. Okay. Let's go ahead and start our rice cooker. Watch the water shoot up. And let's turn on our crock pot to get our soup cooking. That's on low. I'll turn it up to high. Okay, so we have all three outlets occupied. Um, and we're still only pulling 336 watts at the moment. Okay, so it is 1230. Um, it's taken a while for everything to heat up. The rice was done relatively quickly, but the chicken noodle soup is just now starting to boil. Um, our battery capacity is down to 51% now. After breakfast, some work in the yard, a little bit of charging, and now lunch. So now I'm gonna put the power station out in the backyard um, connected to the solar panels to try to uh, load some more energy into it while I eat lunch. I'm working hard, man. It's good to see you relaxing a little bit, recharging. Where are we at power-wise? We just had lunch. We're at 50% capacity right now. You can see I have the two panels set up. I'm going to go ahead and plug them in and let's see what we're gonna get here. Okay, we're right around 140, so you go ahead and relax for a little while here. I'm going to relax the way I do. Hey, Opus, a little help. Thanks, bud. Okay, dude, I see you're taking in some uh, energy here from the panels. It's uh, about half cloudy day out, so input's going to be going up and down. But we've been working hard. You deserve to recharge your batteries, and I'm going to do the same with mine. I'm gonna go inside and take a little nap for a while. Okay, Opus, how we doing? It's about four o'clock now. Oh, we're still getting 100 watts out of our panels. That's good. Um, we're 82%, but you know what? I think we're good enough. I'm rested up. You're rested up. Let's go inside, play some games maybe. Okay, so we're inside now. Let's see where we're at. 82%. So let's fire it up. So we're pulling about 90 watts, charging an iPhone, uh, Amazon Fire, powering 55 inch TV, and playing the Wii. So we're gonna play this for a little while. Okay, so we've been playing now for about an hour. We're 100% charging our tablet and our phone. And went from 80 some percent, it was about 83% to 71%. Okay, so it's almost six o'clock. We're gonna have some dinner now. Um, we're starting at 71%. We have some canned London broil. We got going in the crock pot, just started it. And then I'm gonna put some rice in here in a minute, but uh, the rice cooks a lot quicker. So I'm gonna let the London broil go for a little bit. And then um, we'll come back out in a little while, start the rice and I'll get with you guys when dinner is ready. Okay, so it looks as if our dinner is done. Let's see where we're at. 49%. Not too bad, it's seven o'clock. So we've made it uh, from about eight o'clock to seven o'clock, going up and down, using some energy, uh, putting some back in with the solar panels. So after I eat, I think we're gonna go outside and enjoy some uh, weather and a little fire. Okay, so it's been a very long day. We are going to enjoy ourselves around a little fire. And we're going to have a nice relaxing tea using a single cup coffee maker. See we're at 49%. We just came out after dinner. Turn our AC on. I'm gonna get the light going so we can actually see what's going on here. That's a good use of the light on the back. Let's go ahead and start it up. We're really gonna top this thing out maybe. Eight hundred and thirty-two watts. I can hear it going. The water's already in. I got my tea bag in. 
Ah, finally, here we go. Took two or three minutes, but water's heated up. You see the steam coming out. So we're gonna have ourselves some fresh tea, relax. By a cozy little fire. And then we'll head back in for the evening. Okay, so we are in from sitting around the fire, drinking our tea. We have our 55 inch LED TV lit up. You can see we are at 45%, well, 44%, and he's ready for a movie night. So let's go ahead and start it up. It's playing from a flash drive. I think we'll go with Dumb and Dumber. He likes that low brow humor, so. All right, so our movie's over. It is time to go to bed. Where are we at here? 33%. Hey Opus, I thought I might find you in here. I'm tired too, man. I'm about to go to bed myself. You did good today, and you still have a third of your power left after a day, man. That's pretty good. Uh, now that we have our power back, though, I see you're uh, all tucked in, so let me plug you back in and get you charged up for the next time I need you. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the simulation. Uh, if you don't know, I was an engineer in a previous life and I made a living out of bench testing and field testing equipment. So um, that's not really what I like to do. I like to provide you with real world scenarios and how you can utilize this equipment. But the bottom line is, is this Opus 1200 power station any good? And I believe it is. Um, it's the perfect size uh, and capacity to take camping, if you live in an apartment um, or for ancillary power around the home, right? It's not gonna power your central AC. It's not gonna power your uh, full-size refrigerator all day. Uh, although you can use it for a couple hours on a fridge uh, or you could use it for about 24 hours on a, uh, like a chest freezer probably. Uh, your mileage will vary a little bit depending on the wattage that your appliance pulls, but I could do that with mine. It packs a lot of power into a uh, relatively small form factor, right? It's about 24 pounds, so the average person can carry it around. It's not that difficult. And it checks all the boxes for me. It's got a life PO4 battery chemistry, which is safe and gives you thousands of charge and discharge cycles. It actually met or beat my expectations uh, for charging time. As a matter of fact, the, using the AC wall charger, it beat my uh, expectations of charging time by an hour and a half. So. That is pretty, pretty solid. Um, and if you haven't seen my other videos, my philosophy when it comes to power stations is they're only as good as the charging potential, right? So if I was to use this overnight and fully deplete it, if I can't charge it up to 100% the next day, so I have 100% going into the next night, then it doesn't do me any good. This actually will charge the next day if you use these two 100 watt portable panels. So it, it checked that box for me. It's got plenty of output ports and a variety. And the firmware is great. I can't tell you how many power stations I've tried where you go to press a button, you get uh, crazy uh, alerts and alarms on the display. Um, sometimes you plug into the port and it doesn't power on. So the firmware on this is rock solid. I didn't have one problem, either plugging in an accessory or uh, pressing a button. Everything was very reactive, it, it was good. And that's, that's a definite plus for me because that drives me nuts um, sometimes. And it's got pass-through charging, which is great because if you're using it during the day and you have some sun, you may as well plug in some panels and have some energy flowing in even though you're using it, right? And the final checkbox is that the panels supplied with the kit are very user-friendly. They come with long leads, which I love because it allows you and the power station to be in a protected area, either from the sun or rain or the elements, you know, and then you can stretch these out about 15 feet away um, and have them providing energy uh, for you. I promised you at the beginning of the video that I'd give you the good, bad, and ugly. Now, two cons with this unit that I found, they don't affect the functionality, so it still works fine. These were just a little bit of a hindrance or a nuisance to me. So the PD port is unidirectional. It's only power out. So you can't charge it from say another battery pack, which to me is fine. It's not an issue for me personally because generally if I'm using the PD port, I'm gonna be using it with a wall wart. So I'm gonna be you know, plugging into an outlet in the house and feeding energy in. 
And if you have this, if you're in that situation and you have this wall charger, it actually maxes out the charging capacity anyway. Now the second con is the screen. It's gorgeous. It gives you all the information you could ever want or need. However, I found for me that it timed out too quickly. Um, now it's not an issue functionality wise because you can still see that the unit is on because there's a little ring light around the power button so it glows like a blue. That way you know that the unit is on even if you don't see the screen on, but you have to tap that to have the screen light up again. Maybe my opinion is skewed a little bit because I was texting it and, and shooting the video and I kept referencing it, you know? So if you're gonna let it set and just power some devices and check it occasionally, it may not be a big deal for you. So overall, I think this is a very solid unit. Now Opus was gracious enough to provide my viewers with a 10% discount code, good site wide, with the exception I believe of the 2400 watt unit. I will put that discount code and a direct link to the power station, along with links to the low wattage appliances that I use in the video in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time, bye.